I probably shouldn't have done that. No, no. I was looking for a bit of tongue this time. I thought. No. Our first guest is one of Hollywood's hottest stars, and also he's a great kisser. His new movie, Ondine, opens in theaters next Friday. Please welcome Colin Farrell. That's my annual Ellen snog. Uh, I know. That's I, done. Now I have to wait another 12 months. It's going to be such no. a dull year. You can, uh, they, but you go to grab my face and it turns into another kind of kiss. And then well, so... That probably becomes about ownership. I probably shouldn't have done that. No. No. I was looking for a bit of tongue this time. I thought... Uh, no. I thought to third time might be a charm, but no. Oh, uh, no. No, How we're you? both very happy and in, in, in love yes, with indeed. other people. Absolutely. So. Loads of other people. What? Like... Family and friends, and but we don't, but we don't French kiss family and friends. I see where you're going. See? Just let me. I'll just keep digging a hole for myself for the next ten minutes, and you. Don't know. Oh, <laughs> good to but see I you. like when you're here. Um, but <laughs> be careful. You're the you're the only guest that that tries to make out with me every time, and I don't mind it. You're a good kisser, but um, and and another. Thing but at least if my hands are up at your face, you know I'm not trying to drop a hand. That's that's true. one way. To... I know where your hands are. That is true. But then I thought you had control of what was going to happen up there, so I was trying to pull away because was, it, it could have... I, yeah. go, I was going for that, I yeah. know, I could tell, I could tell. Your defense system is impenetrable, <laughs> young degenerates. I learned, I went to high school. Yeah. Um, so, I didn't, um, well, I did, but... Be careful about your, uh, your potty mouth, because whenever you're here, uh, not only are you uh, trying to kiss on me, but you <laughs> curse like crazy. So, and the last time also you were so talking... So I won't curse. Don't curse. Nope. Um, and, uh, and also, I'm very proud of you, and, uh, and you should be proud of yourself, that you uh, are clean and sober, and you got rid of the bad boy image and all that. <laughs> what is the bad boy image? I have no idea. I, don't know. I, don't I have know. no idea. You say the F word in a few interviews, and, you know, you have a little bit of fun and then you become a bad boy. But it was never, badness was never really involved, was it? I don't know. Back. Are you remembering anything? There may have been some moderate, badness. Moderate misbehavior. Yeah. But no, I, yeah, I, I um, clean now six years, yeah. Which that's is, fantastic. Oh, that's cool, though, yeah. It's such a, it's such a weight. Yeah. It's such a weight off my shoulders. What has changed for you since, since, uh... I'm just present in life. I was just never present. Mm -hmm. I mean, I seemed like I was. I seemed, I, I feel like I seemed like I, I had life, you know, by the firmest grip and I was engaging with it at the most extreme level. And in one sense I was, but in another sense I wasn't really present myself for, for any of it. I may have seemed like I was on the outside. And now I just feel stuff. Whatever life comes, I can feel it, whether it's sadness or happiness. The pendulum mightn't swing so deeply, but the feeling as it comes to me, goes deeper in itself. So it's just, I mean, it's very liberating. Yeah. It's well, very that's, liberating. That's great. And, right. and you're doing better than ever. Your work is... And you have a brand new baby, right? How I old is your brand, baby? Yeah, seven... Well, he's a bit old now. Seven months. Uh-huh. Um, oh. Seven months. <laughs> And his Little name is, Henry. Henry is a great name. Henry's a good name. It's isn't a really it? good name. We went through so many names, but yeah, we just got him back to the house and put him on the floor, and because that's what you do with new babies. <laughs> I didn't put him on the floor. He was in a seat on the floor. <laughs> like, let's put him on the floor and see what he what does. What do you mean you went home and put him on the floor? In a car seat. Right. Put the car seat and on the floor. I looked at him and I said, he looks like a Henry. It was two days after he was born, and Alicia said. I was going to say the same thing, so that was... Really? Pretty much it. Yeah, she said I was just about to say the same thing, so that was it. He was Henry. He sent the message to us. Well, we have a gift for Henry. Oh, do you? Yep. Altoids. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yep. That's cool. All right. Cheers. Cheers. 
Uh, we'll, we'll take a uh, we'll take a break because uh, the baby's mommy is uh, in the movie with you. Yes. That's where you met, right? Correct. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk about the movie and the the baby mommy and the baby daddy. We'll be back. <laughs> It's been a great ride. Yesterday I had my last day of school. And so that was a little sad, you know, seeing enough to leave my friends. Next, Ellen Ashton Kutcher. And Friday, American Idol's winner and runner-up. It's a full week for Ellen. I've hosted this show. I've judged American Idol. I've solved crimes on eight different versions of CSI. I've been sober two years, seven months, and 18 days. This is where they all clap, Father. Where did you see that? In the movies? Yes. Thank you. So, tell me. I had a dream, Father. I'm at his funeral and she's beside me and I'm panicking again. Maybe you still want to be with her? No. No, I'm panicking because I'm back with her. Can't happen. She's still drinking. should have subtitles. Colin Farrell. Undine, right? Undine, yeah. Undine. And it's, uh, where was this shot? It was beautiful. It was shot in a part of Ireland called Castletown Bear, which is the Bear Peninsula, on the southwest tip of the country, just right on the, on the lip of the Atlantic. And it is about, it's, uh, explain what it's about. The film opens up with a fisherman played by myself pulling up his net and there's a woman in his net. And he doesn't know, she seems dead. Ooh, a woman in a net. <laughs> And then, and then pay $10 and see what happens next. No, then he, <laughs> he resuscitates her and the rest of the film kind of points to the possibility that she might be a mythical sea creature um, and maybe she's not. And she kind of affects a, a great amount of change in the lives of the people that she comes in contact with. Right. It's a really small film. But her name is Alicia... Sweet. Alicia Bacleda. That's right. And, uh, and that is your baby's uh, mommy. My That's baby where mama. You, you met on the set of that movie, which is yeah. very beautiful. Yeah. All right, and before you go, I think uh, this, is, uh, this is so cool that you have been very vocal. You've been speaking out about uh, bullying against gay teens. Yeah. And uh, you wrote something that I think is, is uh, so beautiful that I asked if you wouldn't mind sharing this with people because sure. for you, coming from you, I think a lot of people need to hear. You, it was so eloquent the way you put this. Um, I said bullying is torture. It is another betrayal of basic human decency, and its scars reach way into the future of its survivors. But the saddest truth is that not all children survive it. It is a potentially fatal societal illness that must be respected and not feared, respected and dealt with as a very real problem and as an adversary of a potentially harmonious world that should have no place for bullies or bullying. Good to see you. Andy Lopez and Select Cities next Friday. Grace and Chance will be here after this.